For you being at the pro level, especially a black athlete at the pro level, did you have anybody that you looked up to when you were younger that you were like, yeah, I want to be just like her? So I idolized Natasha Watley. Natasha Watley, Natasha Watley was my idol. Natasha Watley, I feel like it's probably the same answer that a lot of young or a lot of black softball players will say and they will steer towards Natasha Watley. And now we have a special first pitch. The greatest leadoff hitter ever leads us off before this game right here. Hi, I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and softball to me is the opportunity to compete on the field with your sisters. Being a professional softball player is like the ultimate dream job, and I'm so excited for you guys to go out there and represent our sport at the highest level, playing with the best of the best. Natasha Watley was that idol for many of us because she was one of the only softball players who really had an opportunity to see on TV, see Excel. And not to say that she was the only one doing it, not to say that she was the only one that was great at the sport of softball, but she was one of the only ones we actually got to watch. So I remember watching a couple of games of the 2008 Olympics. She's playing shortstop. She was not only on the team, like she was one of the best. Just to see her, especially like on that Olympic stage and just being not only just like on the team, but like leading the team. I think that was very inspiring to me. I was a shortstop and she was the best shortstop in the world. She was a lefty slapper on the USA national team, went to UCLA. I even bought a UCLA jersey. Um, so I was riding hard for Natasha Watley. And I think my dad did a good job of like putting that in my face, like this is what you look like too. You know, like getting her cleats and like watching her with the USA team on TV, those kinds of things. That's when I was like, oh, Natasha Watley, like I want to be just like her. You know, one of the only, at least dark brown skinned girls on the team where you can resonate and really see, for me personally, see myself in, see Natasha and say, she's doing this, so can I. And it not be something that seemed far-fetched where I could go play at UCLA or I could go play college ball. I could also be an Olympian. I could be this, I could be that. Like she just expanded my thoughts of who I can be and what I can achieve in this sport of softball just by watching her and seeing someone that looked like me doing so. She was just that person that no one saw her color because she was so good at her sport, so she could not be denied. When you talk about representation in softball, every black girl's idol is Natasha Watley. Why do you think that is? Because we didn't see anybody else that looked like us. Do you think it would have been any different for you if you had softball players of color to look up to or that were on your team? Yeah, um, I think it absolutely would have been different. I, my senior year of high school, that was the first time I played on a team with, I think, five or six plus black girls. As I got older and I started to move up in certain leagues and be on all-star teams and see that there was less and less of people that I either identified with or um, identified with me, it was like, okay, like where do, like where do I kind of fit in? Okay, now they're just sticking me here because like, okay, you're super fast and athletic so you can play here. Um, and like switching me over to the left side of the plate because like I get to slap and I get to do the small things because I'm fast, but that's when I started to feel like, okay, I'm the only black person. I like, okay, I'm the only person here that looks like this, that has this color. And as I'm like going on and I'm continuing my career, like I'm one of two black women on each team. Like this has been the first time I've been on a team, when I say uh, a team, Athletes Unlimited, that there's like a group of black women playing this sport. I think my dad did a good job of like putting that in my face like this is what you look like too you know like getting her cleats and like watching her with the USA team on TV those kinds of things that's when I was like oh Natasha Wildley like I want to be just like her oh my god you know one of the only at least dark brown skin girls on the team where you can resonate and really see 
for me personally see myself in. This is so awkward. <laughs> it's just so cute though, like, so can oh man. And it not be something that seems far fetched. Man. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you the ugly cry, but that was pretty awesome. I didn't realize that. Um, you just don't realize like your, your impact. And when you're playing, you're just playing to compete. And um, I don't know, it's just really touching to hear all of them here that say that, um, because I look at them and I think of how proud I am to see them. I feel like you just don't realize um, how important it is to see you know, someone who looks like you and how important that is to um, have you dream. I looked up to men, um, and not that it's wrong. I looked up to MLB players and I wanted to play for the Atlanta Braves. And but how much more powerful would it have been to see someone who actually looked like me to look up to? And, um, and there's no wrong way to achieve success. I mean, I think it's just, you know, like it's all a testament to like the hard work and, you know, the journey, but I think it makes it so much nicer and easier when you can like see like, oh my God, I could be that. I think um, anytime you do anything, you want to leave the sport better than you found it. And I feel like they are that. And they are representing our sport. Like they are softball. Florida All-American playing for Team USA as well. Moultrie deep to right field. This one is gone. Ocasio called strike three. Now that you're in this position and y'all are all televised and stuff, do you have any added pressure or responsibility that you feel? I feel like my obligation is to raise that bar so that there are more people who look like me at the elite level so that young players can see us and know that they can be us. So that's why I'm trying to ball out here, trying to get my face out there so that these little girls can see Alicia Ocasio and want to be on this level. I don't feel any pressure. I just think it's so cool that I'm here. I stuck with it long enough and I've been, you know, blessed to be good enough to do it that like, hey, like I can do this too. You can do this too. It, it's more of like an enjoyment that I'm here and I have a little sister and I get to stop at their practices and they get to be like, she's a professional softball player. Like I'd never had that when I was that age. I don't feel like there is an extreme amount of pressure because I know that there are people who have it worse than me. I feel like it's an obligation for me to be a voice and be a model for, for those younger athletes. Seeing a black female on ESPN in the circle, um, that's not, you know, a, a black pitcher is few and far between. So I, I find joy in being in the circle and, and wearing the skin color that I am.